What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to do a comparison of two different rockets, or should I say two different rocket launches. And what I'm going to be looking at is the performance. First I'm going to talk about what my expectations were for each flight. And then I'm going to talk about what I actually witnessed as far as what I saw with my eyes as the rocket launched. And then I'm going to compare those things with the data that I got from the Jolly Logic Altimeter 3. Enjoy. So these are the two rockets that I'm going to compare. The first rocket that I'm going to go over is the rocket on the right, which is a scratch-built 3-inch diameter rocket that I launched on an Aerotech G25 motor. Here is the thrust curve for the Aerotech G25 motor. Note the burn time is almost 5 seconds long. So what I expect to see for this flight is a long and relatively slow flight. Let's check it out. So here is what the Jolly Logic Altimeter 3 says about the flight. Peak altitude 1,281 feet. Max speed 190 miles per hour. Peak acceleration 5.37 G's. Now I'm not making any sort of claims to the accuracy of this data, but I am going under an assumption that these numbers I just read off are accurate enough for the comparison between the rockets, which is the objective of this video. Now let's move on to the next rocket, the Estes Star Orbiter, which was launched on an Aerotech E28. Note here on the thrust curve that the burn time is significantly shorter than the G25, so I am expecting a much faster launch. Now one note that I will make is that this motor had a 4 second delay which I believe was too short because the parachute came out a little bit early while the rocket was still traveling up. Now although this wasn't a characteristic of the flight that I particularly desired, it was a mistake that I selected too short of a delay. However, I will note that the Jolly Logic Altimeter 3 detected this flight characteristic because it shows on the graph here that the parachute ejected at 984 feet before the rocket reached its max altitude at 1029 feet, which is pretty cool. The max speed was 249 miles per hour, which was significantly faster than the first rocket, which had a max speed of 190 miles per hour, if you remember. And the peak acceleration of the second rocket was 17 G's, which is a lot higher than the roughly 5 G's of the first rocket. So I also want to note the comparison of the altitudes. The first rocket went roughly 1,200 feet. The second rocket went roughly 1,000 feet. So I want to note that they went to pretty similar altitudes, yet the second rocket was significantly faster than the first and that is due to the thrust curves of the motors. Remember the thrust curve of the first motor showed a very long burn and relatively low peak thrust and the thrust curve of the second motor, the E28, showed a significantly shorter burn time and a relatively higher peak thrust and that accounts for these flight characteristics that um, were, I would say, um, successfully um, presented here by the Jolly Logic Altimeter 3, again at least uh, for what we're doing here in comparing rockets. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel.